aside from ripping out my gas powered stove from my home, what is the BC Greens platform when it comes to natural gas, considering all these health risks? Yeah. So uh, I, I'm a, I'm an engineer. I'm a pragmatist. I'm not saying everybody has to rip out their, their <laughs> gas stoves. It, it's valuable as a backup in some cases, especially in the north where it can be very cold i mean mm-hmm. we all, gas furnaces still don't work in a power outages in a power outage but um you know it, it has some value domestically uh we will we do need a transition over to cleaner cleaner fuels and, and renewable sources of electricity but it, you know we know we all know we're going to go through this energy transition it's it's very apparent but you know all, all the science says climate change needs to be addressed or we are in big big trouble so um we just to encourage that transition we just don't we shouldn't be investing and we shouldn't be subsidizing any more fossil fuel infrastructure in bc and that's a that's a really simple platform piece that the greens have been talking about for some time uh don't build any new plants you know the ones that exist will will phase out over time and we'll bring on renewables and uh and it's pretty straightforward given the the climate scientists are saying this this needs to happen and so to be really clear you're not going to ban natural gas throughout the province if you were to make b government no there's no there's no (laughs) there's no banning i mean yes new buildings are being built without gas hookups and those a lot of those are municipal rules but Mm -hmm. we're you know we're not in the business of banning and telling people that they're they're bad because they're doing the wrong thing the system is built to help people uh you know create carbon emissions and we need to change that system. 